morning, I'm Michelle Corey. And I'm Amy Dylish, and this is the WHBS TV Friday Morning News. Last Friday, fourth grade elementary schoolers from around the district came to Westlake High School to learn how to build birdhouses and how to work with technology. Today we have the fourth graders and we're teaching them all about tech and what the high school has in the tech ed department. Right now we're building birdhouses in our workshop. We're going to talk about 3D printing next door, some laser cutting, some different robotics classes. Our students are working on their culminating experience for IB exhibition. So we've teamed up with Mr. Kutz and Mr. Purdy to kind of engage them in some new things. We worked with a lot of tools. We got to um, like sand the like birdhouses so it's smooth. My favorite part is probably working with all the machines and they're pretty cool. Yeah, my favorite part was definitely the drilling. Using the hammer. Hammering the nails. I'm building a bud house for the Cleveland Buds. It takes a lot of time and patience to build these things, and I'm going to pass it on to Steve. What do you hope the kids will get out of today? I hope that they'll just have a new interest in technology and engineering and want to build something when they go home. And it's a good way to prepare them for high school. Perseverance. They're trying something new. They have to try and fail and try again, which is huge. One of the children said, Ms. Garen, this is way better than video games. When you get to the high school, do you think you'll want to be involved with this kind of stuff? Yeah. Recently, Westlake High School's band and orchestra went to state competition and got superior ratings. And today I am here with some of our orchestra members. So guys, you went to states. Uh, it went pretty well. We got a superior rating, which means we got the best rating that you can get. We have to play in front of judges and then they'll give us a score and then after that we have to go do sight reading and they'll give us a piece of music we've never seen before and we have a couple minutes to get ourselves together and then we play it and then they give us that score. We got an overall one. We had a great time. It was fun to be with my friends from band. Congratulations to the boys track team for finishing fifth in the SWC conference. And congratulations to senior Kevin Walls for finishing first place in both the 100 meter dash and the 200 meter dash. The varsity softball team just finished their season. Sports director Caitlin Ellerbrock spoke with the team captains about how their season went. We have a lot of talent throughout the team. Sometimes we just struggle putting it all together. We have a lot of younger girls on the team. For next year it is looking hopeful because a lot of the girls will have one year experience, but this season a lot it was a lot of the girls' first year. Yeah, we definitely pulled it together in the end. Beating Midfee yesterday, we haven't beat them in like the past four years, so beating them yesterday Peyton and I are both seniors, and it was a good way to end off our senior year. So what is the difference between softball and baseball? Softball, you have shorter space between bases. You have a smaller outfield. Uh, of course, pitching, underhand. Mm -hmm. The movement of the ball is definitely different than baseball. For example, like we'll get rise balls, where it's coming in, it looks like it's at a good strike level, and then all of a sudden rise it's up. up over your head. Baseball, you're it's not going to have down a ball on. like that. A lot of people think that since you're throwing underhand, it's going to be a lot slower than the baseball. But yeah, it comes in a lot quicker than you think it's going to come in. So how do you prepare for the balls coming at you that quickly? I time myself up with her movement. So when her arm gets to a certain point to when she releases the ball is when I start to load up and start my swing. And I'll start it when the ball gets uh, to right in front of me. Once you get in the box, you've got to be ready to hit. You have to have her timed up. You have to talk to your other teammates, know what kind of pitches she's throwing. If she's hitting outside corner, inside corner, rise, curb, screw, anything, you've got to be ready for any pitcher. When you're that close to the plate and a ball is coming that fast, you have to be ready to adjust where you're swinging, the speed of your swing. So do you have any advice for the future team? Be a voice on the team. Definitely step up because your leadership will go a long way. Being somebody that people can look up to is definitely a big role, and if you can take that over, then... I think the team will have success. The more leaders, the better. How would you like to play a part in what the Buckeyes wear on Saturdays and the Browns wear on Sundays this fall? The Reserves Network and Rydell are partnering to offer summer jobs for anyone 16 years or older at the North Ridgeville facility. These are part-time and full-time positions for assembly, packaging, and shipping at $10 per hour. Workdays vary and hours are in the morning from 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. 
Please contact Ms. Zenis by next Wednesday if you're interested. Attention seniors attending prom. Your tickets need to be signed by your assistant principal in advance in order to attend. An administrator will not sign your ticket if you owe discipline, fines, fees, or any required service hours. Assistant principals will be signing prom tickets next week before school, after school, and during lunch periods. They will not sign prom tickets during class. Westlake Safety Town is looking for reliable volunteers to help teach pre-kindergartners all about personal and traffic safety. Interested? Pick up a volunteer instructor registration form in the main office or visit www.cityofwestlake.org slash safetytown and download your registration. That's all for this week. Don't forget to check out WHBS on YouTube or Wow Channel 18 or 18T Channel 99. This has been Ruby Darwin and Michelle Coy with the WHBS TV Friday morning news.